Whether you're an entry level or senior data professional, you've probably had the same question in the back of your mind lately. Is AI coming for my job? Well, today we're gonna see if it has what it takes. We'll be using Copilot in Microsoft Excel to take on a data challenge and compete with the work of incredible and human analysts around the world. Now for this challenge, Copilot will be playing the role of a BI developer for National Rail, a company that provides business services to passenger train operators in the UK. It's the first day on the job and an email just came in from the analytics manager asking for a dashboard with these four requirements. So let's download the data set, fire up Excel, and let Copilot get down to business. Now the first task was to identify the most popular routes. So let's launch Copilot and ask for its help. Now it's already taking a little bit of time to load here. Hopefully it's not an indication of what's to come, but let's go ahead and ask. All right, it looks like we do have an answer here. Let's go ahead and check this. First of all, it returned the number of rows by departure station and arrival station, and it looks like it is sorted from top to bottom. We can add this to a new sheet, and it even provides a text summary. So the most popular route is from Manchester Piccadilly to Liverpool Lime Street, and the second most popular is from London Euston to Birmingham New Street. And I want to pause there because this is truly impressive. Copilot figured out from context that route meant pair of departure and arrival stations, and that most popular meant highest number of rows, or in this case, transactions. And from there, it had to actually go and calculate this, which it did accurately. So not bad. Now we can go ahead and add this to a new sheet. It is taking a while here as well. It looks like we actually get an Excel table, which is interesting. I was expecting a pivot table here. That's all right. Let's maybe filter for the top 10. And that's task number one. I'll give Copilot an 8 out of 10 here since it didn't really add a visual, which I would have liked, but we did get an accurate analysis. Now on to the next task, which is to determine the peak travel times. So let's ask Copilot. Change the topic. And we do have a result, but if I scroll up here, you'll notice that it's using the time of purchase, but we really want to use the departure time. So let's clarify. All right, it's done thinking. And again, it looks like we have the right answer. We have another analysis that we can add to a new sheet. But the most important part is this text summary here. The peak travel times by departure time are at 6 a.m. and at 6 p.m. And again, those are accurate, which is amazing. So let's add this to a new sheet. And this is where things get a bit weird. I thought that Copilot was going to create a pivot table to calculate this, but it looks like it wrote this crazy dynamic array formula instead. Now we still get the correct result, but if I want to sort this by departure time instead of rows, then it is going to be a bit more tricky. But let's give it a shot though. It looks like it's using a sort function here. So what I can do is just change the sort index, which should be this right here, from two, which right now it's sorting by count of rows, to one, which is the departure time. Let's change that, press enter. And that kind of worked, but since this is all technically text, then it's not sorting the hours correctly. Now this text format is coming from these text functions here. So let's just change those to military time. Let's press enter once again. Now we've got these in descending order. Let's change the sort order to positive one. And voila, let's add a heat map here. And there we have it, our peak travel times, again, 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. Amazing. Now I'm gonna give it a six out of 10 here. It did give me the right answer, but I had to have an advanced knowledge of Excel to modify that answer and turn it into something a little bit more intuitive. Now on to the next task, which is to analyze revenue from different ticket types and classes. So let's prompt it. Change the topic.
it looks like we're getting a chart right out of the gate here and again our text summary so we can add this to a new sheet so let's do that we can clearly see that we make more money from standard tickets than from first class tickets and that the trend for both is the same advanced tickets bring in the most revenue followed by off peak and then anytime now for the first time copilot tackled this problem in the same way that i would have with a pivot table and a chart 10 out of 10. now the final task was to diagnose on-time performance and contributing factors so again let's change the topic And it looks like for the first time, it isn't able to give us an answer straight away. So let's try to be a bit more specific here. Let me scroll over to the right. And you'll see that the on-time performance can be gauged using the journey status column, which can be either canceled, delayed, or on time. So let's ask. And now we have our answer. So let's add this to a new sheet. And I'm gonna pause here as well because this can be misinterpreted. Remember, each row represents a train ticket. So we're really saying that 7.24% of passengers experienced a delay, but we're not saying that 7.24 of the trains were delayed since you can have multiple tickets for the same train. Still not a bad analysis here. And I like the fact that it accentuates the delayed and the canceled status with the orange color here. So we have part one of our task. Let's ask about the contributing factors here. We have our text summary and let's add this to a new sheet. Maybe add some data bars here. and it looks like weather, signal failure, and technical issues are the main reasons for delays and cancellations. So I'll give this one a seven out of 10, just because we had to be more specific in the prompt, but I really am quite impressed by this. Now that's not to say that Copilot would win the Maven Rail Challenge, but who knows, maybe it has a shot at winning the first time entrant prize. So what do you think? Is AI coming for your data analyst job? I wouldn't worry about that just yet, but if you're not using AI as your sidekick, then I highly suggest that you start now because you might not be left behind by AI, but you can be left behind by analysts using AI. And if you're interested in taking the Maven Rail Challenge yourself and building your project portfolio, then you can check those out at Maven Analytics or alongside our award-winning courses and guided projects. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, make sure to like and subscribe for more data content just like this. And I'll see you in the next one.